Last month, when I was feeling uh, rather pissed off about losing my armor tan, I, uh, I was looking at various um, trackers. So I started off with that thing, which was an absolute waste of time. I found that thing, which is brilliant. And I've also got a miniature micro sort of version, which I'll do a review on after this video. Then, as you know, I built my own um, UHF beacons, uh, which work perfectly. Very happy with them. But when I was um, when I was looking through the internet, I saw this place called um, where is it PMB in New Zealand from Bruce County country. Sorry. And today I've received this. Now I think it was twenty two pound fifteen something like that. Uh, it's a thirty minute was it thirty minute timer on it or something I don't know. So. I'm going to take it out of the box and have a look. So this is what you get. You get obviously the tracker. You also get two pieces of um, shiny heat shrink. Heat shrink. Now I, I presume that's purely because sometimes you will need to change the battery. That's just looks like a standard CR2032 battery. Um, the beeper which is massive and you've also got a jumper on the back and all you do with this thing is you take the jumper off, that's it and then the timer after 30 minutes it will start beeping and also transmitting I think it's on 433.925 um, so oh yeah, and a spare link so what I'm going to have to do now when I when I got it out of the box I took the uh, the jumper off and it beeped but it hasn't beeped since so I'm going to have to take this heat shrink off um, to change the battery because you know whether I don't even know I don't think there's a battery in it <laughs> I don't know so anyway I'll take the heat shrink off and have a look well when I took the heat shrink off and I peeled it back um, it pulled off the there's a conformal coating of some kind on there. It's not a, I don't know what, what what exactly it is, it's like a plasticky sort of a coating on. Anyway, I've checked the battery and the battery does seem okay. Um, although it doesn't do anything. I would have liked to bleep or something to say it's working. So what I'll do is I'll leave it, um, leave it unplugged now, uh, just for 30 minutes and I'll tune my uh, scanner into... Was it 933? 433.925 I think it is. Um, just to see what it actually does. It's been on over uh, it about, I said it's actually 45 minutes. Um, I thought it was 30 but never mind. If you can see it. But, <coughs> turn that off. The LED flashes. It bleeps and also on four three three nine two five. It does actually give a although this is actually it's overloading it here, so yeah, it does it does work. For twenty two quid. Well, just to prove it actually works. There we go. Not stop now. So yeah, it's definitely working. Twenty two bound. Now, uh, speaking of which, I'm also working on um, a DigiSpark version of my um, transmitter. So, yeah. But yeah, if you want one, no assembly needed. All you do, take it out of the box, 
unplug the turn off. What you have to do, take it out of the box, unplug the jumper, and off you go. And then when you land again, it does bleep. And then when you land again, you put your jumper back on, and that's it. Simple.